look for a time when those who, who have the might show accountability. When they realize, dig this, when they realize that they are just a vehicle to bless others and to bring that word that could possibly change somebody's life. That's the real deal. I think a lot of MCs, they make, um, they make music for the block. You know, you get in the booth, I did it, hot damn, hot damn, hot damn, hope, here we go again. Okay. It's for the block. But once you travel that world and you see how many people you're affecting, how many people are looking up to you, there has to be a change. So you know what, if you get a pass, you get a pass on that first album saying all that crazy stuff. But then you, time to go back around again, who are you for? Who are you really working for? I look for a day When the folks that hold the mic right now really understand that there's only two ways you can really go. And this is no pun intended. It's either light or dark. I look for a time where the newest generation of rappers understand their power, their, their real power. Now, I, I read an article once where they talked to an actress and they said to her, um, how does it feel to be powerful? And she said, oh, you mean power as in how much money I can make for other people? That's really what power is, huh? Power is the ability to make other people money in the realm of hip hop. As an MC, if you don't stand a chance of making someone else some money, go well, guess what? You ain't gonna make it. People ask me all the time, why is there only one female MC on the front line right now? Because there was a time when female MCs were given a chance, but we didn't sell the amount of records that the major record labels wanted to see. Major record labels, their bottom line is money. Period. End of story. Don't care if you have a message or not. If you ain't selling records, you're out. So the decision becomes, what will you say to sell a record? How will you behave to sell a record? to get the attention, to garner the attention of the people, what will you do? What are your limits? There seems to be no limits. On the road to getting rich, what, what will some do? It becomes more important to be on the top of somebody's chart than it does to really ignite the people, the fire that exists within the people. They are ready to move. Do you understand that everything that was built years ago with hip hop was based on a movement? There are no leaders, so there's no movement. But I believe the leaders that exist now, they're not in mainstream. And that's not to say they didn't start out as leaders. And that's not to say they're not capable of leading now. But for this moment in time, we need someone to come from amongst us. We need that. We need some people talking some real stuff. And, and I mean, and we need some people that ain't double talking. Like, 
if you say queen, queen, queen to me all of your MC career and then you call me a bitch, I ain't understanding that. Because <laughs> I put a lot of trust in you. I put a lot of trust in you and I've said your name to a whole lot of people as an MC that I like. Because you care about the people and you show respect to women. And then you do that? I don't like the double side. Like, we need strong folks on the front line. And I really believe that poetry yeah. is the next hip hop. <laughs> I believe that that poetry, because it hasn't been raped yet. People, people say what they feel. They keep it true. Um, there was a poem that I wrote. Did anybody see when I did a poem for Deaf Poetry Day? You said you was there. Who you get around? <laughs> well, I'll give it to the people who weren't there, and I'll just say it for you, sister, that, that was there as well. I was born into the game to love only for the right now. Who's hot now? Who's over the spot now? Pressure to be the best by any measures. Or get pushed aside if you don't possess the treasures. In this game, appeal is the mission. But the love given is based on your chart position. The scrutiny, who's doing me? The media, promoters, executive shareholders. I was young, wet behind the ears with a dream that was fun. Now it seems it's just for the cream. Don't get me wrong, I love doing this. Sacrifice the secure life and school for this. But once in the blue, I get tight, nervous, disappointments, letdowns. Was it really worth it? But all it takes is one fan's voice to reassure myself that I made the right choice. 93 RB, I'm trying it because they were hardcore joints. I wasn't buying it. No, it wasn't. And quite frankly, the label ain't interested in just the street cred because they got money invested. Try to renegotiate, left my pride hurt. Sitting across the table telling me what I'm worth is crazy. You think you're gonna be here forever. But then sometimes they change up on you like the weather. It's a blow to the ego, it's devastating. Got me second guessing myself, contemplating. It's a rough, it's a rough game. But as long as your foundation is tight, and that's where family comes into place. Who relies on family? Okay. Some didn't respond. Maybe it's friends. Maybe it's a group of friends that you can rely on. That can tell you when your shit stinks. Right? That can tell you when, uh, when the decision that you're about to make is not the one that you need to carry on through with. That's what hip hop is about. It's a community. And, and please understand, there are times when other MCs reach out to other MCs and say, hey, I remember back in, I don't know, maybe 90, maybe 89, I was in Cleveland. And I was doing a show and I was on the radio. And a call came in. And they said, Light is Dougie Fresh. And I was like, oh, cool. What up, Dougie? He said, Light, are you upset? I said, like, no. He said, well, you sound like it. I said, really? He said, yeah, you, you happy to be here, right? You getting ready to perform? You getting ready to have a good time? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. He said, well, let the people hear it. I needed to hear that, because I still had Brooklyn on my back. And I didn't need to. Too much to be thankful for, too much to be happy about. But yet, I felt like I had to be mean. And I had to have an attitude, because that's what I put in the first record. So I had to carry through with it. No, I didn't have to carry through with it. And my brother Dougie Fresh called me out on it. And he said, like, you're too lovely for that. Come on, smile with the people. Talk When you're talking on the radio, invite them in. Those people love MC Light. I learned a lot from
in that conversation. It changed my entire perspective and it let me be free because I was living in a Brooklyn box and I thought that I had to be one way and I didn't have to be. So it allowed me to open up and it allowed the people to come in. And from that moment, I was able to, to give myself a level of freedom that I hadn't had. And I don't know if you can tell, but even my music from that point on became even a little bit more personal than the music that I had before. So I thank Debbie Fresh for that. And if you too ever come upon someone who could use a good word, constructive criticism is always good. Yes, yes. It's always good. So, yes. even if it's, even if it has nothing to do with music, and it's just somebody in their studies, and you know, I, I heard uh, the '90s babies clapping and the '80s babies and the '70s babies, and we're in the '60s, can't forget y'all. We're all, we're all in here together in the name of hip hop. But MC Light carries some weight, huh? Yeah. That name. Yeah. I hope I've done right by you. just me. I think about all of you who have propelled me to the heights of where I am right now. So I thank you. I thank you for that. 